the heavyweight great, you know what I'm saying? The last of the American heavyweights, you know? And he's supposed to be coming back to fight who? And Ganu? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Like the great Kenny Rogers would say, you gotta know when to hold them. Hey, know when to fold them. Hey, know when to walk away. Deontay, you should run. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. So it, it, it's, we have some disturbing news, you know, disturbing news in the box of world. Some potential disturbing news, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, my boy Deontay Wilder, man. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the modern day era heavyweight champion. The heavyweight great, you know what I'm saying? The last of the American heavyweights, you know? And he's supposed to be coming back to fight who? And Ganu? No, please don't. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> no way, no how, no ma'am, no thank you. Please don't let this fight happen, man. The crazy part about this is that apparently... Big Turkey Alashik is, is 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 backing this, and he's okay with it. You know, he said that he's he's always willing to give um, a great champion like Deontay Wilder another chance if that's what he wants. You know, um. So and 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 it's um. This is no knock on Big Turk, you know, because if, if he's gonna come back, then you know, this is actually a be saluting Big Turk, um, because you know Deontay Wilder lost his last two fights, right? He lost against Joseph Parker, um, and he lost against uh Big Bang Zhang. You know, Zayle Zhang. Oh, uh oh. Oh boy! Oh, oh turn around! What, what you doing? Oh lord! What you doing? Oh, what's the, what was he doing? Did he get turned around like Zap Judah? Yo, that nigga turned around. What was he doing? <laughs> That's bro. That, that, bro. He ain't know who hit him. <laughs> he said he ain't know who hit him. It's crazy. You know, and um. I think it's a testament to show you how how Big Turk is willing to make these fights and he doesn't care about losing like that. He doesn't think that you should get written off just because you lost one or two fights, you know. And that and this is this 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 gesture is indicative of that as well. However, I think Deontay Wilder is well beyond his, his prime. I think he's beyond uh, uh, um, the ability to even perform at a safe level in a safe manner. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that I don't want Deontay Wilder to come back because. Uh, um, He's not good. I'm saying that we should preserve the champions, you know, and the greats and, and their legacy. You know, Deontay Wilder, in my opinion, I'm afraid that he's going down the path of, you know, Roy Jones and, and Manny Pacquiao and, and, and even James Tony. And, you know, we've seen this story before, man, where the greats just hold on for a little bit too long and they're losing the people that they shouldn't lose to. And while wow, this is no disrespect to Joseph Parker, you can only beat who's in front of you. Right. And um. It's not his fault that Deontay Wilder was just a shell of himself, but I mean, that's just, that's just the truth. No one looks at that fight with any boxing knowledge or with any common sense and, and, and sees that performance from Deontay Wilder and thinks that Joseph Parker was fighting the same Deontay Wilder that the majority of his opponents fought, including Tyson Fury during that trilogy, you know what I'm saying? And once again, it's not Joseph Parker's fault, it just is what it is. And same with even Zhang, you know, uh, while I think Deontay Wilder was in a little bit of better shape against Zhang, he still wasn't the same Deontay, you know, that we're accustomed to. So I'm just saying that from that, from that perspective alone, that I don't think Deontay Wilder should go back in the ring. Hopefully he has a team around him that would stop him, stop his ambitions from going back to the ring because, you know, once you get offered a lot of money, you know, it, it, I'm sure it makes it harder to say no, especially when it comes to doing something that you love. You know, we all know they love the sport. So <clears throat> in my opinion, you know, he should stay away from Francis Ngannou, even though Francis Ngannou, if he was going to win any fight, it would be against Francis Ngannou, right? Because Francis Ngannou, he's not a traditional boxer, right? He's not even a boxer uh, to say the least, you know, but he is a fighting phenom and we know he's powerful. Then Deontay Wilder has it looked like he has the ability to dodge, <laughs> dodge shots or make people miss, you know, and and also in addition to that, you know, Francis Ngannou has stated that he wanted Deontay Wilder. I haven't seen anything from Deontay Wilder recently that say that he wants to make the fight with Ngannou happen. I know he said that in the past. And then also, too, a lot of people are saying, hey, well, Deontay Wilder, since he just lost, he could, he could fight Joe Joyce, who also just lost, you know, against Derek Chisora in that war, which is, you know, a testament to his nickname, you know, Derek or Chisora. And then I also heard people say, oh, you know, um, Turkey Alashik himself has also second did this about he's interested in Derek Wartersor versus Deontay Wilder as well. Check this out. 
So yeah, so while I'm saying I applaud um, 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 Big Turk for changing the game and, and, and discouraging us from throwing away fighters just because they lose, I do think it's time to not throw away Deontay Wilder out of respect for his greatness and salute. We don't throw great, we don't throw the greats away. We don't throw anybody away, but especially not the greats. But I do think like the great Kenny Rogers would say, you got to know when to hold them. Hey, know when to fold them. Hey, know when to walk away. Deontay, you should run. But yeah, that's just my opinion on it, man. I don't think that uh, Deontay Wilder should, should go back in the, uh, in the ring against um, any contender level heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? Maybe get him a win, a, a easy win, a gimme win, just to send him out and salute him uh, and let him sail off to the to, to, to glory with a dub. You know, with a W, that's cool. But I don't I don't I wouldn't like to see Deontay Wilder in there with the likes of Derek Chisora, Joe Joyce, or even Francis Ngannou because I think that it's it's gonna end badly, you know, in my in my opinion. But we all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you would you be interested in Deontay Wilder versus Chisora, Deontay Wilder versus Joe Joyce or Deontay Wilder versus Ngannou? Um you let me know in the comments, man. I do not approve of this fight. <laughs> But hey, your boy will watch it. You know what I'm talking about? Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.